If it's Monday, it's Motivational Monday, and we have an expert on the subject today. Since 2019, Today, today All Your Name has, has been helping people cycle toward their fitness goals as one of the premier Peloton instructors. Mm. Now she is sharing her personal journey to help inspire others to find their purpose with her first book. Mm -hmm. It's called Speak, Find Your Voice, Trust Your Gut, and Get From Where You Are to Where You Want to Be. And Tunde is here with us to talk about it. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. You have a fan of pretty much everyone in the building. I remember when Al Roker was talking about you eons oh, yes. ago. We call him Uncle Al at Peloton. Uncle Al. Uncle Al, because Uncle he's all Al. in the classes. We love it. So here's the thing. You know, when you're on that bike, people would see you, and they just assumed you've always been that way. You've always been that confident. But that's not necessarily the case. Right. And I think it builds to your journey and is inspiring for people to know it wasn't that long ago that you didn't feel that way. Yeah, I was overweight. I had low self-esteem, low confidence. I was supposed to be a bridesmaid in one of my aunt's weddings. I when was this? Like this was, I mean, this was years ago. I Wait, was which probably, one? Hold on, let me see. I was in high school. That's me in front. That was my mother behind. Okay. Um, and I was supposed to be a bridesmaid in my aunt's wedding. I couldn't fit the bridesmaid dress, so my mother had to sew two dresses together wow. so that I could wear the same dress as everyone. That was my like rock bottom turning point. My mom said, "If you want change, you have to make a change." Wow. wow. And so I started working out started eating healthy. I was a makeup artist for 15 mm. years, loved my job until I hated it, mm. woke up one day, hated it, and decided that, again, if I wanted to change things up, I had to change things up, and then so, I found fitness. So you did have this successful career, but you're in New York, you take a cycling class, because why not, right. and then you had a blue light moment. Right. What, what made you click in that moment. Well, I, I, it was my first cycling class ever. Kelly Ripa was talking about in, in home or in cycle studios. You clip into the bike, so I had to try it. I left that 45 minute class and I was floating and I had what I call a blue light moment. Mm -hmm. It almost felt like a divine download. Mm -hmm. After my first cycling class, I knew that I'd be teaching it. I knew that I'd be teaching it on the very biggest platform without even knowing what Peloton was. Wow. And so I could have dismissed that as just daydreaming, hallucination, whatever you want to call it. Um, but I took it as this opportunity. I think that the beauty of uncertainty is infinite possibility. Mm. And I took the chance. And, and a lot of folks probably don't realize. I mean, I, yeah, you're one of my favorite instructors. I mean, I'm like. I paid you $20 to say that on TV. <laughs> Thank you. And it's funny because I, you know, I've never seen you off the bike. But when you're on, when she's on the bike, like, she, it, she's like a monster. Like, sometimes you <laughs> like, let up. You know, I've worked a full day. You know, I, I can't waste your time. But, but in 2016, your first audition, you, you failed, right? Yeah, so yeah. It, it took trying again. How can folks who are watching or listening, how can they find their own blue light moment? Mm. I mean, I think it's a, a matter of trusting that internal pulse. I think it's intuition. I think we all have it. We just learn to suppress it. At a very young age, you say, this is what I want to be and this is what I want to do. And then people tell you to get realistic, grow up. Um, for me, it was coming back to that pulse. I call it in the book, I speak to it as the drumbeat. Mm. And so I follow the guide of the drumbeat. It's my internal compass. I love that. I was reading the book. I didn't realize this. You talk about, you know, it can be hard to push when adversity pops up after experiencing not only the loss of your brother, but then your parents. Right. What do you tell yourself and what did you tell yourself to remain motivated? There are a lot of people who are dealing with grief. Yeah. I lost my brother when he was 19 years old. Three years after that, I lost my dad. And then three years after that, I lost my mother. So mm. I lost half of my immediate family within six years. Mm. Uh, I always say we don't get to choose what happens, but we do get to choose how we react. Yeah. Today's a new day. I choose to be new in it. I live because they cannot. And mm -hmm. today's a new day, so I choose to be new in it. I heard you actually say that on the bike, what, yeah. what you just said, yeah. about not being able to choose what happens, but how you respond to it. Thank you. Oh, yeah. And what is your advice for people who, you know, they set a goal for themselves and they want it immediately? You know, like they're doing everything to kind of get this instant gratification, but it takes a little bit longer right. than immediate. Progress, not perfection. Give yourself attainable goals as it relates to fitness or anything uh, other. Give yourself attainable goals. Uh, I think when, you know, when people start out on their wellness journey, they have mm -hmm. X goal and they want to achieve this and they want it in two weeks. Right. Give yourself bite-sized chews because you need wins to continue. So start small, feel that win. That win will motivate you for the next one. Well, also, what I love about so Tunde on the bike yes. is she actually does like the whole, like she does the session like with motivating. Some of the I'm other, sweating. Some, oh, some of the other instructors, funny. I'm like, you know what? Maybe a little less talk and a little more. A little more <laughs> you do well, I mean, you do yeah, look, I happen to sweat a lot. I, I, just, I think it's my pore size or whatnot. <laughs> also, we've got some Beyonce fans in the yes. room. I don't use the Beyonce fan because I want the sweat dripping out of yeah. me. Uh, but yeah, That's yeah, funny. I sweat a lot. It's so nice to have. You. <laughs> well, Tunde, thank yeah. you so much again. It's Thank when you. somebody is so 
you know, confident. It's great to know your journey. Thank like you. we can too. Speak is out tomorrow, and you can also catch her tour with some special guests called Speak a Soul Care event. Love Love good this. stuff. Congratulations. Thank, right. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.